And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well. As always guys, before we do get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Okay, so the January transfer window has been and gone as you guys already know. Um, it was very boring for Liverpool fans, nothing really happened in terms of incomings and outgoings. Of course Cody Gakpo before the window opened, but I'm talking about the chunk of January where... Uh, Liverpool had a really poor start to the season. Many supporters did think that the club would maybe invest, try and get some of the business done now ahead of the big overhaul in the summer. Um, but like, nothing came to sort of fruition. However, it is being reported by lots of decent sources, uh, Fabrizio Romano being one of them, The Athletic being another, uh, stating that Liverpool will probably have an overhaul in the summer. Get rid of some dead wood. There's a lot of players coming to the end of their current contracts. Older players try and shift them on um, and sort of go for a uh, like reinvent this team basically look the main priorities it seems is Matthias Nunes and Jude Bellingham uh, but you guys you already know that sort of stuff however there is an interesting report that I've seen today from 442 uh, that is stating that Liverpool are in talks with a young South American player that I will reveal who in a second but it's an interesting one because it kind of changes the way that Liverpool are maybe doing business if you like kind of cutting out the middleman as I said Liverpool have been very savvy with the way they do business over recent years, mainly not over the last two seasons, but certainly when Jurgen Klopp came in, they were very savvy with the way they were doing business, getting uh, cheaper deals and moving on players, etc, etc for profit and always be having a net spend very, very high in terms of uh, in, in the green rather than the red. And the reason why I find this one fairly interesting is because Liverpool don't really necessarily go straight to the source and take young players from South America. As I said, the, the player that uh, 442 are reporting on that Liverpool are in official talks to try and land is uh, for um, Payers, Kendry Payers, who is an Ecuadorian uh, youngster. And as I said, this is being heavily reported um, across the internet at the moment that Liverpool are in talks to try and get him. And basically... What they're saying is, is that it's going to change the way that things are done. Apparently, Liverpool were interested in Moses Casado and wanted to buy him straight from Ecuador. Didn't pay the £4.5 million fee that was asked. And as we said, as we've seen here just in the January transfer window, Brighton have went on to reject an £80 million offer from Arsenal for the player just a year later. So it's interesting to see how these players, these teams, uh, these teams get these sort of players and develop them really quickly. But with this case, Liverpool, are looking to maybe recruit straight to the source, go to the player, get Kendry and sign him. As I said, 442 are reporting that he is, uh, that the club are in talks to land the player and it will probably said to cost around £10 million should Liverpool do it. There are a few interested parties. Um, but again, I like this one. I like this one. We sent it with some of the young Scottish players that have been coming in as well. Calvin Ramsey. Ben Doak as well from Celtic. Um, so I, I do feel I can see a change where they're looking at maybe recruiting uh, younger players, maybe taking them before they're signing their pro deals and then sort of developing them. We've seen Bajetic has been a hit this year. He was one of those players that was signed um, before he signed his pro deal with this club and then joined Liverpool. So it is very, very interesting how this one could work. But as I said there, guys, the, store, uh, the talk is that Liverpool are in talks to sign Kendry Payers uh, from Independent Deval. Um, and as I say, he's highly rated by European sides. Liverpool fans, what do you make of this? Would you feel that it's good for the club to go straight to the source rather than paying the high transfer fees that mid-table clubs like Brighton and all the rest of it are trying to get for their players due to the inflation of the prices with you know Brighton asking for £80 million for a player? Do you, do you like to see Liverpool try and get these young players in at 15, 16 years old, try and develop them themselves uh, rather than paying these high figures? I just want to know your thoughts on this one. As always, guys, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.